everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this pretty lace bookmark pattern, which you can see here in front of you. Uh, this is an easy and quick bookmark pattern to work. It only has about three rows and uh, it makes a great uh, gift for yourself or for someone, a friend or family member, or as well a, um, a great item to sell at craft fairs. So this is our pretty lace bookmark. For this pattern, you're going to need about 20 to 30 yards of a lightweight yarn. I'm going to be using a little bit of this Patton's Grace yarn, which is a lightweight mercerized cotton yarn. You're also going to need a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. You will may also want the free written crochet pattern, which can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. And I'll provide the direct link for the pattern in the description of this video. Thank you so much for joining me. And while you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. There are several other crochet bookmark patterns here on my blog that you may also want to check out. To begin our pattern today, you're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain and your foundation chain will be 56 uh, chain stitches. So go ahead, chain 56 chain stitches. Once you have worked your foundation chain of 56 chain stitches, you're going to begin row one by working a double crochet into the sixth chain from your hook. Count in one, two, three, four, five, six. Into that sixth chain, work one double crochet. You can then chain one, skip the next chain, and double crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next stitch. Once you come to the end of your row one, you can then chain one and turn your work. Now our row two uh, is actually around. It's going to be worked all the way around our bookmark. And what you're going to do is you're going to begin by working one single crochet into the first stitch. Next, chain five. Skip the next double crochet stitch and single crochet into the top of the next double crochet. Chain five and repeat. Skip the next double crochet and double and single crochet into the top of the next double crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way across your bookmark. Now, when you come across to the end of your row, you're going to chain your five and then skip the next chain stitch and then single crochet into the next chain, which would be the top of uh, what would have been a double crochet stitch. So just single crochet into that next chain. You're then going to chain three turn so that you're now working around the short end and you're going to single crochet into you're going to skip the next chain and single crochet into the next chain so it's like you would have worked a single crochet at the bottom of a double crochet stitch you're now turning your work so that you're working along the opposite edge. You can then chain five, skip the next double crochet and single crochet into the next double crochet stitch. Again, you're going to repeat that all the way across this opposite side of your bookmark. So chain five, skip the next double crochet, 
and single crochet into the next double crochet stitch all the way across. When you come across to the end of this opposite row, you're going to chain five, skip the next double crochet, single crochet into the next double crochet stitch. You're now at your short end, you're going to chain three, and then you're simply going to join with a slip stitch into that first single crochet stitch. You're then already set, uh, all set to begin row or round four. There's no need to turn your work at this point. Uh, sorry, round three. So the no, there's no need to turn your work at this point. You can then chain one. And for round three, you're going to work seven single crochet stitches into each chain five space. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Skip the next single crochet and then simply work seven single crochets into the next chain five space. Repeat that all the way across. When you come to your chain three spaces at either end, you're going to work five single crochets into these chain three spaces. So continue uh, to work your single crochets, either seven or five in each space all the way around. I am here just at my first shorter end. I've worked seven single crochet in each chain five space all the way across. This is my chain three space. I'm going to work five single crochets into that chain three space. I'm now working along that opposite edge again and I can work seven single crochets into each chain five space all the way back across. I've come across to my final short end chain three space so I'm going to work five single crochets into that chain three space. And now that I've come all the way back around, I'm going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. You can then fasten off your work using your yarn needle. You will want to weave in any ends that may be still there sticking out. then your pretty lace bookmark is complete and ready for you to enjoy. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to make this pretty lace bookmark and uh, once again I'm inviting you to check out the other videos there on my channel. Feel free to subscribe and uh, let me know how your bookmarks turn out. I love to hear about your projects uh, that you're working on and that you've recently completed. So until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.